room, everyone in this country, and everyone on this planet deserves to find their true happiness. Today, on World Mental Health Day, I am ready. I'm ready to dedicate, I'm ready to advocate and listen to you for those struggling with mental illnesses. Because if we work together, we can achieve the universe that we can proudly say, this is the real me. Thank you. We have Miss Iloilo City, Miss uh, Rabia Mateo. How are you? I'm doing great. I feel like I'm one step closer from having my first national crown. Well, you are actually. You are in the top 16. So let's see how it goes with this, um, this comment here. You have 30 seconds to answer this. Throughout this journey, you have discovered that you are a phenomenal woman who is conditioned for greater. How can you create a positive and lasting impact to the world around you? Your time starts now. First of all, I need to stick to my core, which is being passionate about educating people. I am a lecturer and I've been pursuing this because this education had helped me to have that comfortable life that I and my family deserves. And I want to push people. I want to... Uh, I want them to achieve greater things in life through me. And I know with Miss Universe, anything is possible because I am a phenomenal woman with a heart of beauty. Thank you very much, Miss Ula Ilo City, Rabia Mateo. Next up, well, Ilo Ilo City, Rabia Mateo. Rabia Mateo, Ilo Ilo City. ค่ะสําหรับเรียลเฮอร์เพราะว่าได้คิดว่าลูกนี้เนี่ยมันสะท้อนถึงอะไรหลายๆอย่างลูกนี้ได้กําลังรําไทยให้คุณแม่ดู
Rabia Mateo. Congratulations, and now it is time for us to find our final contestant. Oh, she wants it in English. Make our job just a little harder, huh? Okay, ka. All right. So here you go, Amanda. A hundred years from today, who would have historians select as the most influential woman in the 21st century, and why? Please show your real vision. Go. So, if you ask me who I choose as the most powerful woman, I think all of us are the most powerful woman because us women, we are so strong and we're so powerful. And if we put our mind into something, we can do it just as hard. Thank you. Clear. Yes. All right. Here we go. Your first question. If you could create a new paper currency with the image of any Filipino on it, dead or alive, who would it be and why? If I were given the chance, I want to use the face of Miriam Defensor Santiago. For those who don't know, she was an Ilonga, but what I admired about her is that she used her knowledge, her voice to serve the country. And I want to be somebody like her, somebody who puts her heart, her passion into action. And after all, she is the best president that we never had. You want Thai English? Okay. English. Okay, ka. Amanda, I'll pass on. Amanda, get ready for this. The picture of Temple of Dawn has always been taken to symbolize Thailand's spirit and landmark. If you become the new Miss Universe Thailand, in what way would you represent yourself as one of the new iconic of Thailand? Please show your real vision. Let's go. If I were to represent Thailand, honestly, I would just show everyone myself because I often get critique of being half, half Thai, half Canadian. But what I want to say here today is I am Thai. I was born to a Thai mother and I couldn't have been more Thai. So I want to show you all of me, all of my Thai-ness because I am Thai. Thank you. All right, Amanda. Question. This pandemic has made clear our priorities, essential or non-essential. Where do pageants stand in this time of crisis? As a candidate, I know I'm not just the face of Iloilo City, but I am here carrying hope and as a symbol of light in the darkest times. And as of the moment, I want to help my community. I want to use my strength to make an impact. And that is the essence of beauty pageant. It gives us the power to make a difference. Well said, Ilo Ilo, Rabia Mateo.
Universe Philippines 2020 is Miss Elo Elo! Mm -hmm.